new impact land based 4500 gram per day seawater desalination system. Um, this system is very easy uh, to use, very simple. Uh, it's, it also has free treatment sufficient to, for special applications such as a beach well where you have well water mixed with seawater, where you have higher level of iron and manganese, for example, or calcium, magnesium. So the first thing it has. Uh, a spin down filter. The spin down filter is to remove any suspended solids created in 50 micron. And then it has an ion exchange system with an automatic valve to backwash and regenerate on time. Then it would have a multimedia activated carbon, a catalytic carbon, uh, depend on the application, along with KDF and polyphosphate uh, to treat hard water conditions. Then it has 5 micron sediment filter to remove any suspended solids greater than 5 micron. There is also a feed supply pump in case if the water is setting in a settling tank, it would be able to draw the water from the tank and pressurize all the pre-treatment. Then from there, after the 5 micron, the IO pump will bring the pressure up to about 8 to 900 uh, PSI, which I think is about 45 bar, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the arrow pump will boost the pressure of the water and take it to the membrane elements in the back. The membrane elements will remove salt. And then from there, the water is going to go into your permeate or your freshwater settling tank. Once the tank is full, the system is capable of flushing itself. We have filters that draw fresh water. And then from there, it goes into back into the sediment filter and flush the whole system with fresh water after each use. We also have an ultraviolet lamp at the end of the operation, so ensuring the water is not just pure and salt free, but also disinfected and sterilized. Um, we have a PLC system that controls the whole uh, operation, the whole skid mount. Uh, it will give you water quality, number of hours of operation. Now this is the basic system, it's not the advanced one. We've got more advanced ones with the HDMI and touch screen PLCs. However, this is just the basic one. And uh, so we'll show you the water quality and conductivity or PPM, we'll show you the water temperature, we'll show you the uh, number of operating hours. You will also be able to, if anything goes wrong, we'll beep and give you an audible alarm as well. Audible and visual alarm both. Uh, that has there's a indicator light after each phase, so you know exactly what's in operation, what's not. We also have bypass switches for the pumps, just in case if you want to bypass in a pump for service reasons. Um, finally, the last thing on this system is a complete control panel that uh, will really make you in charge of this and then in control. There's a pressure gauge after each step. So if there is any clogging for any reason, you'll be able to tell just by looking at the gauges. There is also a flu two flow meters, one flow meter that shows you how much water the system is producing, and it's called the permeate flow meter. And another one to show you how much we're wasting the drain, the concentrate back to sea. So that way you can see the ratio of how much you're producing versus how much you're wasting. Finally, there is a pressure, a system pressure control. System pressure control is to adjust the system pressure uh, for, for getting to reach the best water quality possible. There is also another uh, pressure relief valve on the back of the unit. In case if someone make a mistake and close this valve all the way, it will automatically open so that the pressure won't increase over 900 PSI for safety. Uh, that's about it. Let's just put this new system in operation so you guys can understand how it works. All I have to do is just push one button, the green button, the power button. Once I do this, the feed pump will start to pressurize the system, then the IO pump will start. By the way, the IO pump also has a variable frequency drive to smooth the operation of the system. Uh, let's push it to start and show you how it works.
level of this unit is not beyond 72 decibel, which is acceptable for human ear, and it's in full operation as it is right now.